everybody today we are going to see about how to create macros in ms word macros is a very useful tool in word this is also used in ms excel today we can see what we can do with macros in microsoft word you can automate frequently used tasks by creating and running macros a macro is a series of commands and instruction that you group together as a single command to accomplish a task automatically. To save time on task, you do often bundle the steps into a macro. First, you record the macro, then you can run the macro by clicking a button on the quick access toolbar or pressing a combination of keys, that is shortcut keys and you can run the macro. The macro depends on how you set it up. This is a very, very useful tool in Word as well as in Excel. Let us see how we can do it in the Word. First, click View. In the View ribbon, you have a icon called Macro. So the shortcut for viewing the macro is Alt plus F8. Okay. Now I am going to click record macro. After record, clicking record macro, you can give a macro name. I am giving my name. I am creating the macro name as KTS. Now I am going to click the button option. Okay. Click button option. And now there is an option called word option is on the screen. Now click normal new macro. Click add. Okay, you, you can modify the icon of this macro. I am clicking this and I am going to click modify. After clicking modify, I am going to select an icon. Let me select this icon. Okay, I am selecting a lock icon. Okay, I have selected the lock icon and I am clicking OK. Now, once again click OK. Now, this is in macro mode. Now, you are going to record the macro. Here, some of the mouse selection commands, it won't work. You see, I am going to insert a picture. Let me insert a picture from desktop. I am inserting a picture. I am typing a comment. See, I am typing a comment. Please subscribe this Educrawl channel. Okay. If I use mouse for selecting, it won't select. So you can use the keyboard for selection. I am using the keyboard for selection. I am clicking bold. I am changing the color. Okay, everything is done. Once everything is done, you once again click view, click macro, and you can stop the recording. Now you can see here the icon macro icon is there this is in the quick access toolbar you can use this icon okay now i am going to create a new document now if i click this macro icon okay you can see normal new macro kts i am clicking it now you can see the picture is the inserted as well as the content is inserted. So this is how a macro works. You can, once again I am doing, once again I am clicking the macro. Once again, the second picture is inserted with the content. Okay, once again for your understanding, I am creating a new document. In this document, I want to insert the picture as well as the line. Once again, I am clicking, you can see the picture is inserted as well as the line is inserted. This is the usage of macro. You can record certain things wherever you want. You can use that. Now, once again, I am going to create a new document. You see, I am going to create a new macro. Click 
record macro i am creating a button the same procedure i am adding i am going to modify here i am going to give a different icon this icon let me give this i icon and i am clicking ok so here i am going to type something hello welcome to india so here once again i am selecting i am going to change the color bold insert so i am going to insert a shape i am inserting a shape i am inserting a color for that now i am going to insert in word arch i am clicking the word arch i am typing the content for the word arch subscribe educral channel after clicking ok you can see the word art is inserted now we have a line a word art as well as a shape now i am stopping the recording you can see i am going to create a new document now you can see there are two icons the first icon is a lock icon it has inserted the picture as well as the content now i am going to click the i icon there is a second macro which i have created you see the content text and the bad art is there all the three are visible now now once again i am going to click the i icon so that you can see the second content is inserted now we are going to see the shortcut for viewing the macro the shortcut for viewing the macro is alt plus f8 alt plus function key h so this is the shortcut for viewing the macro so i am going to press function f8 plus alt four macros so that KTS macro 1 and macro 2 if you want to run a particular macro you click run so the first macro what we have created is running and you can see now I am going to view macro once again I am pressing alt plus f8 I am going to run the second macro macro 2 you can see the content is inserted now let me see alt plus f8 i am going to run macro 1 you can see the content is inserted so this is how you can view a macro using now let us see how to create macro with keyboard shortcut click view click record macro select keyboard okay you can also give a name for that macro i am giving educrawl as a macro name i am clicking keyboard here you select a key which is not prominently used in keyboard shortcuts so here i am going to use a combination of control plus shift plus alt plus z okay so that is the shortcut i am going to use you can see the shortcut is alt plus control plus shift plus z uh, assigning this keyboard shortcut i am clicking close welcome to india learn ms word using edu crawl youtube channel so i am typing something so now i am going to insert a picture so i am inserting a picture now let me insert a clip art so i am inserting a clip art i am going to select computer let me search for computer yes 
so let me insert a clip art so I have typed something I have inserted a picture I have inserted a clip art now I am going to stop recording now I am going to create a new document now I am going to use the shortcut the shortcut which I have created for this macro educrawl is shift plus control plus alt plus z if I type with the so you can see the content is there plus the picture as well as the clipboard is there okay you can use the two methods you go view macro and you can run the educrawl run you can see the content is there once again everything is there okay this is the method of creating macro using keyboard now I am going to create a macro which only copies the formatting of text I am going to clicking view macro record macro I am going to give this as format macro okay this is a format macro I am clicking keyboard I am going to create a shortcut control alt shift x so I am assigning okay now I am going to change the format see I am selecting so what I am going to do is just I am going to click bold italic underline I am going to change the font okay I am going to change the font size is 10 okay I am going to select a particular color okay so everything so changing the font color so you can see the alignment everything I am changing now you can see now I have done bold italic underline highlight color I have changed the font color I have changed so now I am stopping the recording now I am going to open a new document so this document I am going to change the format for that I am going to use the shortcut which I have already created for that macro control shift alt as well as x so after applying that thing you can see the content has changed so wherever I want to apply that con format I can use control shift alt and x the content will be changed you can see this bold italic underline font is changed size is changed highlight color font color and alignment everything is changed so I am taking another document you can see suppose in this document I want to do the change I am selecting pressing control shift alt as well as x so you can see the entire content is changed so wherever you want to change the formatting you can create a macro for that only that formatting and you can apply that now you can see I am selecting selecting view macro let me run the format macro run so you, you can see the entire content is changed for more videos like this subscribe our channel educrawl